You guys ready for a call and response? Ready to get the energy up in here? Yeah! 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 I say ha, you say ha ha! 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 Oh, it's so easy to get people laughing. <laughs> I say avatar, you say Mayor Baba Key J. Avatar! Guard, preserver and protector of all. Oh. You are without a doubt, non dual, non You are without color and without expression. Oh, let's do this. Oh! oh It would take before it kind of fell apart. I <laughs> to make it the, the full thing. Uh, are you guys ready for some, some jokes? Something yeah. funny? Because I have perhaps the best set of Glory Shaw jokes we've seen ever written. You guys know who Glory Shaw is? Yeah. Do you guys know who Glory Shaw is? Yeah. yeah, the guy who went to Maribot about 20 years prior to Baba getting there. Sorry, I gotta catch my breath after jumping up and down because I'm in great shape. Uh, having had a baby for seven nine months ago. I didn't even have the baby. Uh, but I put on all the baby weights, so it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Um, he went to Maribod about 20 years prior to Baba getting there and said, just bury me here. And everyone said, there was literally nothing here. Why would you do this ever? And he said, don't worry about it. And then now he's at sort of at the front, his tomb is at the front of Maribod, which makes him the original hipster because he was in a Maribod before it was even a thing. Of course, the hipsters actually hate him because he's not even underground. <laughs> and to get that joke, you have to remember that his tomb as a Muslim was above ground. That was the point of that particular joke. And there's nothing funnier than a joke that you have to explain. Uh, and normally, normally, I spend time thinking of jokes, memorizing them, doing that. Then I had a baby, so now I don't have the time or mental space to do any of that. So I have some papers. I apologize about that. But I've also written, over the course of my life, a bunch of one-liners, and I thought this would be a great time to kind of empty out the uh, notebook a little bit, which is why I have all my Glory Shaw one-liners ready to go. <laughs> like this one, uh, knock knock. Who's there? Glory Shaw. Yeah, I don't know much about him either. He's got like one page in Lord Mayhair. It's like a 7,000 page book. You know very little about the man, really. Did he like walks on the beach? If he did, why? Because there's no beach near Amanagar? It's really a minimal situation. Uh, here's one. A priest, a rabbi, and Kalori Shaw walk into a construction site. The priest and the rabbi go, Kalori Shaw, I thought we were going to a bar. And Kalori says, eh, just give me 20 years. It'll be a bar soon enough. I know, I know, I know. I got more. Don't worry, I got more. You'll have heard every Galori Shaw book joke in the book at the end of this one. Why did Galori Shaw cross the road? To get to Queen Victoria. Close, although I don't know where that is, so I have no idea if that's close, geographically. Uh, but really, to get to the NPR, because fundamentally he made a mistake, and the nexus of Maribot has shifted from the PC to the NPR. Now he's not even at the front of Maribot anymore, because you drive past that on the way to NPR. So that one, a geographically focused joke that clearly did not do that well. That is fun. I kind of thought you guys were into geography. I thought you were geography majors in college, but that's okay. I liked it a lot. I appreciate that. I've always thought, Greg, that you were a geography master. Geology, too. Um, and then finally, what do you get when you cross Galori Shaw with a mediocre stand-up comedian? These jokes. That's what you get. Uh, the only... The only reason I could ever write all those inane Glory Shaw jokes probably is because I grew up in a Baba family and I have the most, the largest neuroses that you could have growing up in a Baba I don't know if anyone else grew up in a Baba family here. Yeah, I see some hands in the back. Are people raising people? I'm raising someone in a Baba family right now, so I look forward to making all the same mistakes. You know? You know, because I always felt growing up in a Baba family, all the other kids, I know my dad's giving me a look right now, but does not bode well, but anyways. I, I always felt like all the other kids were having so much more fun than me. Like, they would have things that I would never have, like sugar. <laughs> you know, I felt like, because Baba families look at sugar like it's gonna date their teenage daughter or something, you know? It's like, get off my lawn, boy. Take your Thin Mints with you. Sugar is the devil's granule or something. I mean, if I eat another carob cake in my life, I'm going to kill somebody. 
you know, so they didn't have sugar. My mom just wandered off because this is not a good joke for her either. Uh, this joke comes only from love for two of the best parents to ever come along until me and Elizabeth got a baby. At which point they became the second best parents to ever come along. But that, that came from love. Uh, so we didn't have sugar. And we didn't really have holidays, because you know how it was. You're, you'd get back to school from Christmas holiday, and your friends would say, Oh, I got all the greatest Christmas presents. It was amazing. And some other friends of yours might say, I got eight days worth of presents. That was even better. Eight times as many presents. And they would turn to you and they would say, Well, what did you get? What presents did you get over Christmas holiday? And you'd say, Well, I didn't get any Christmas presents. Didn't get any Hanukkah presents. But in seven months, I do get to give, keep silence for a day, so it evens out. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing. It's a present. I'm sure there's some people right now who think my silence would be a present. I get that. I get that. So we didn't have sugar. We didn't have holidays. And we never had friends over. Because when you had friends over, the questions started, right? It'd be like, who's that guy in the photos? And, Who's that guy in all the paintings? And why do you have a life-size cardboard cutout of him? Like, that, doesn't, that doesn't make any sense at all. And, and you'd be sort of just desperate to seem normal as it is. Uh, so you'd say, you know, oh, it's, uh, it's Frank Zappa. It's, uh, it's Frank Zappa. You know, my parents are just huge Frank Zappa fans. Just love, love the, Yanni, they just love Yanni. You, don't wanna, you do not want to get them started on Yanni. Can I say that? You know, and um, and of course the old classic, it's my grandpa, it's my grandpa, and yeah, we do have a lot of books written about my grandpa, that's accurate, that is true, uh, and, and, uh, and my, the friends would always be so confused and say, well, I love my grandfather too, but I don't have a giant golden statue of him slaying a dragon in my house, like I don't know I... Which, by the way, why did we have a giant golden statue of Baba slaying a dragon in the... I've read most of Lord Mayor Volume 1 and five out of the seven, you know, Lord of the Ring books. There's seven of those, right? Something like that. Anyways, and I never saw anything like that. Yeah, there you go. Um, so, and the worst, the absolute worst, you get desperate. I think at one point I said, oh, that guy, that's Joseph Stalin. My, my family, huge Joseph Stalin fans. They love Stalin. And, uh, which is not great. And the friends would say the same thing. They'd go, Matt, that is disturbing. That is extremely disturbing. But at least you're not in the weird Indian cult. So at least, let's focus on that. Let us focus on the good things. This is an honest space, right? We can be honest. Can we not? Is this time to bring back more of the Galori Shaw jokes? Who wants some Galori Shaw jokes? Yeah! Because I have none. I have no more. That was it. But I did, yeah! But I did write a bunch of don't worry, be happy puns oh, no. that I'm ready to do. Like, uh, I love Monty Ann, but she never listens to my cries of don't worry, be nappy. <laughs> that's one. That's a, that's a pun right there. Uh, I don't know if you guys are also excited, but uh, on Tuesday, DJ Baba's new single, Don't Worry, Be Rappy, drops. Oh, no. I don't know if you pre-ordered that one. Uh, my dad was very concerned when my nephew was born, his first grandchild, uh, being concerned about, can I be a good grandfather? I said, don't worry, just be a pappy. It seemed... <laughs> Very simple, very easy. Yeah, that is the exact response that people should have in these types of puns. Uh, especially considering that Starbucks really needs to step up its marketing slogan. I don't think, don't worry, be frappy is really getting the job done. You know. Uh, I know, because we never got presents, like I said, so we never got to say, don't worry, be rappy. That's kind of a play on the other one is the WR instead of a regular R. I know. <laughs> All right then, criticism accepted. Criticism accepted. I will sh save the rest of those for later. Uh, anyways, uh, no, it's true. My my parents are grandparents. They have one grandson, Alden, which is great, and my granddaughter, Monnie Ann, which is great back there. And like I said, I'm raising you know a daughter in our family, I guess, so she'll be able to be weirded out by everything. Uh, and the one thing I never wanted to do growing up, the one thing I never wanted to do was name my child with a Baba name. Because it's, it's just weird. It's just a weird thing. That's not funny, it's just weird. Because, of course, they'll be in like middle school or something. You know, when the teacher will be taking a role, to be like, is Joe there? Is Irene there? Is Ron there? Is Lisa there? Is David there? 
Is there any rooch present? <laughs> a rooch? Is that a is that a thing? Is there a uh, like a mihera? I don't know. No. Is this some sort of prank that's being played? Mihera? Is she here? I, I don't know. And uh, and so I was concerned. I was concerned when we named her Monnie Ann. Her full name, I should say. Her first name is Monnie Ann. Her middle name is Narina, and her last name is Talbot. So she is at the fifty percent Baba name barrier. <laughs> At least until Talbot becomes a Mondley member, in which case she'll be at the like six seventy-five percent Baba name, which is great. Um, but I realized, and I think I might have told my mom this prior, but I realized that if we change her last name to Arani, her acronym, her nickname, her initials will be Moni. She'll be Moni Ann Arena Arani, so her name will be Moni, which I found to be great, but none of you seem to be that enthused by it. My wife was even less enthused when I told her we were legally changing our names to Arani. That was just not really happy about that. And I can't get that court filing feedback at all. They do not they do not haggle on those sort of things. But I think it'll be okay because if you've noticed everyone's gotten really weird with the naming of their kids recently. And I guess all the people were kind of the trendsetters in that. We were kind of like the hipsters when it came to weird names. So I think when Monty Ann is in fifteen or whatever she's in middle school it'll be, you know, is uh Jade in here, is Abe in here, is Slade in here, is Cade in here, is Jared with three R's here, is Jackson with an X here. Mom Ann, how are you doing? Eric, great to see you. Say hi to the parents for me. But I, uh, but I digress. Uh, I, no, that's, I feel like that's something people say as I digress, when they never actually digress. Just because you said you wanted no more of those don't want to be happy puns, I have like three more right now. And I hope that I didn't say these ones prior. I really hated uh, Baba and Katherine Heigl's newest romantic comedy, Don't Worry, Be Sappy. I just thought it was terrible. Um, I loved Gregory Hines and Don't Worry, Be Tappy. I thought he did a good job there. I see the uh, older people in the audience getting that one. Uh, I loved the, part, the cartographer union's new slide, uh, slogan, Don't Worry, Be Mappy. What? Don't worry, be mad. You called it ahead of time? Yeah. Is that like a fun game? <laughs> yeah, once I said cartographer, you were like mappy. Exactly. I basically just went through the alphabet. Yeah. Yeah, I just kinda, could I write a joke about that? No. Could I write a joke about that? No. I'll do it anyways. I realized having a daughter changes you. Having family changes you. And the one thing... What? I bet you change her too. We, we'll do our best to never change her at all. But... Uh, but, uh... <laughs> is that her back? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, everyone's a critic. This is, this is tough. Uh, tough crowd, tough crowd. Yeah, there you go. I wrote that line. Come on! This is a family audience. I did not do that joke. This is a family audience. I put that in my don't, don't do those jokes because this is a family audience bit. Uh... <laughs> But I realized I've never been happier to have hecklers in my life. Uh, but it does change you. I realized one thing I had to do was get life insurance, which made me think of my funeral, which is kind of a somber thing. But I realized, which is a great thing to bring up at a comedy show, but I realized, here's some jokes about funerals, uh, that there's going to be a lot of people who are going to come to my funeral who don't know anything about the fact that I'm a Bible person. Because I know them through work or whatever. They think I'm just a Jew. And, which is kind of true in a sense, I'm not lying to them, I'm just omitting key facts that would provide different contexts to the way I do things. And but they're going to get there and they're going to be like, well, I can't wait to honor the memory of Matthew Talbot, only to be met with a rousing round of, victory on to you. <laughs> I didn't even do the whole master's prayer. I was ready to do the whole master's prayer if you guys were with me, but um, but you weren't, and that's fine. Uh, and um, next time, that's true. I had to me I had to practice those like four lines before I got up here. I had to be like, you are without beginning, without end. You're without beginning, without end. Just to know how to do that. And I may have gotten it wrong. I really have no idea. Uh, but I want to have the most baba e funeral ever in the history of... Like, I want to break records with the most chai tea served at a funeral. 
I want to have like holograms of every single Mon a Baba and every single Mondali member. If they can do it for Tupac, they can do it for those guys. Even at like like lesser known ones like Bar Soap and Anno 104. Like every Mondali member there. I want the entire Master's Prayer. Speaking of the Master's Prayer, I want it wrapped in my sarcophagus, because I have to have a larger coffin to fit the entire Master's Prayer, of course. <laughs> I mean, like Comic Sans or something, just to add to the weirdness of the situation. It will be the best funeral, and I'll only be sad that I can't attend. It'll just be a, a sad situation. Yeah, I appreciate that. If someone could just check in with me next lifetime. Um, but uh, anyways, um, You're going pretty quick. I'm going pretty quick. All right, I'll finish up then. I appreciate the criticism, Ben. I'll finish up. One last don't worry thing. Uh, anyone have a Yorkshire Terrier in the crowd? Yeah, that's good because you got to worry about them. But I always tell my friends, don't worry. They're just yappy. That's what I was saying. I know these are so stupid, but I love all of them. I figured if there's any place to just use all my stupid dumb jokes, this is the crowd. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you. All right, last thing. Last joke. We got an applause break. Last joke. And some of you will get this, but some of you won't. I don't know if you ever saw Jeff Foxworthy. He would always do that. You might just be a redneck if thing. Yeah, I see some nods in the crowd. Well, I wrote a bunch of you might just be an avatar if jokes. So we'll see, and maybe some of you might find out today that you are the avatar. So, I don't know if any of these apply to you, but if your idea of a fun Friday night is sitting in a table cabin that no one's ever, uh, writing a book that no one's ever going to read, you might just be an avatar. <laughs> if you ever had, I know I should do it like Jeff Bach with you, if you ever had, if you ever had to pick up your best friend's gunny sack from the dry cleaner, you might just be an avatar. If you were in the top one, top one, of all people worthy of worship, <laughs> you might just be an avatar. If you get a little too excited to wash a leper's foot, just a little too geeked for that, you might be an avatar. If you ever told the teacher that you couldn't do your homework because the dog ate it and also you were smacking your head on the ground of the room you live in, you might just be an avatar. I don't know, just a guess. If you ever tried to claim the three worlds as a home office on your taxes, <laughs> you might just be an avatar. If you ever tried to claim beyond the three worlds, then you're definitely an avatar. If you, if you were charades world champion 44 years running, which is in my view, an unbreakable record, you might just be an avatar. And if, you have long curly hair and a big fluffy mustache. You might just be Dennis Schlain. Great to see you guys. Thank you so much. My apologies to Dennis Schlain if he ever sees this. Good morning. <laughs>